Ja, Jorom. All right, great. <laughs> Uh, okay, so welcome to the NERA Models Seminar, everyone. Uh, I'm Petro here. Um, so th this first talk is going to be fairly introductory for the first half. Uh, there will be quite a few definitions and just laying down the groundwork for us to come afterwards. Uh, in the second half, I'll look at a paper by, um, I'll look at uh, Sarah, Sarah Pace's paper on um, good reduction of helium varieties. So uh, that should provide some uh, um, mo motivation for, for why we're studying uh, neuron models. So let's jump right into, into the definition. Uh, a narrow model is a special type of model for a curve. So what is a model just, just to see where this is coming from? Um, so we're, always, we're, we're going to be working over a Dedekind domain always. Uh, so we'll let S be a Dedekind scheme. <coughs> Sorry, that's kind of very scary. Can you please break the piece of chalk in two? Is that what the cause is? Yes. I didn't realize that. Uh, so a Dedekind scheme. And we're assuming that it's at dimension one. The function field K. All right, and the, uh, I mean, you, you should be thinking that, um, I mean, very frequently we'll, we'll look at the interest in the case of a, of a DVR. Uh, so if X over K, is a scheme, then we'll call a model, so a model of x over k is a scheme uh, script x, or kind of fancy x, over s, um, such that we have a fixed isomorphism, such that we have an isomorphism, a fixed isomorphism between the generic fiber of x and uh, x. All right. Um, so that, that's the very general idea of a model. Now, a narrow model is a special type of this. So uh, let s be as before. Um, this time, we'll let x, and, I, and I'm going to use this a subscript here, xk. Uh, it'll be smooth and separated in finite type over k. Now a narrow model of x, x k, uh, it is an S model, x, which is smooth, separated <coughs> at a finite type, satisfies the neuron mapping property, which I'll state. So this is a universal property it satisfies the following. This yeah. is the neuron mapping property. Just to make the statement the neuron mapping property nicer, could it be instead of such that x k is isomorphic, could it be together with an isomorphism? Just to make the notation, like, sure. I know you said it with a fixed one. But that's true, yes. It's just I was wondering how long you <laughs> I was trying to not say anything, but it's just really hard. <laughs> <coughs> right, so this is the narrow mapping property. Or the NMP, which I'll use frequently. Uh, and it says the following, so for each scheme y, uh, along the morphism uk, from the generic fiber of y uh, to the generic, or to, to xk, why is y over x? Uh, yes, y is over x. Uh, 
meant for. Do you want either curly XK or just X? But XK is funny thing to write, isn't it? Yeah. This is true. I mean, whatever. Um, doesn't matter. Sure, sure. What about this? That's a good point. Uh, I'll use the script X for now until we get to the abelian varieties case. Uh, <coughs> yes, there exists a unique extension of this morphism to a morphism over S. Uh, so this is a, sorry, this is a K morphism. But you want Y over S to be smooth, right? Yes, you're right. Extreme Y over S. Um, smooth over S. There exists a unique morphism, uh, S morphism. U from Y mm -hmm. script X uh, extending UK. No. 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 <coughs> um, no, I don't. Why is just you? All right, so this is the stuff. Would it make any difference? It would be. Uh, would it? Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, this morphism doesn't really use. S so much so, I mean, we, we, we could extend this definition or kind of generalize it to arbitrary base schemes, uh, arbitrary um, irreducible base schemes. Uh, and as we'll see later in this, in this seminar, this is something that, that has been done. Um, and it's a bit more complicated then. Uh, now, the, the narrow mapping property implies an important property called the extension property for ital points. And th this will uh, play a role later when we're looking at, at serotate. So I'll, I'll define this property. So we'll take x over s. Uh, s is a dedicated scheme. Um, right. Then x is said to satisfy the, Ital map, or the extension property for Ital points. If for all points, uh, if so, sorry, uh, yes, if uh, for tall points at a point S, a closed point S, um, so if for each a tall uh, local OSS algebra. Practice K prime, sorry. We have that the, the map from X R prime, so that the R prime rational points of X uh, to the um, the rational or the, the K prime rational points of, uh, of the generic fiber, this is surjective. So let's take a moment to stare at this and just figure out what it's saying. Um, okay, so this map from from the R rational uh, points of X to the the the, uh, uh, the K prime rational points of the generic fiber. I mean, this just comes from from considering um, uh, the the map from K prime, uh, or sorry, the, the, the injection from R prime into K prime. Um, but this is this is in general not surjective. Uh, it will be injected <coughs> if X is um, separated. So uh, very often, when, we're, when, when we care about x being separated, then uh, then we'll actually get a bijection on these uh, on this this induced map. Um, yes, in general, this isn't something that, that we expect to hold. Now, it will hold in the case 
uh, where X is a, uh, a narrow model of its, of its generic fiber. And is everyone comfortable with the, the notion of uh, an Intel extension of a, a DVR in this case? Yes? No? Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, so I'll also have a very quick remark on that. Uh, so a Tau local OSS algebras In this case, because uh, <coughs> we're just working with the DVR, it's, it's very simple. So these are these are faithfully flat, faithfully flat extensions of OSS. Uh, um, extensions of DVRs. So we have OSS in R prime, uh, such that the extension of fraction fields is is finite and separable. Uh, the extension of fraction fields is finite and separable. And it is a unramified extension of DVRs. <coughs> Now, uh, so th this this tell extension prop this this extension property for tell points. Um, it's it's asking a lot. It's asking for, for this to hold for uh, for each tell local OSS algebra. Um, but in fact, we can kind of simplify this and work instead with the strict tensorization of OSS. Um, so can I remark something? Yes. So you say it's a lot to ask, but also if it's true, if x of x is proper, then this is always proved by the magnitude criteria. That's right. Yes. So you know, it's not such a crazy thing. To Okay, fair enough. Uh, yes, so um, if you didn't hear it, then uh, this, this, this always holds by if x is proper over s by the evaluated criterion for properness. Uh, so yeah, I guess it's not, it's not crazy if I would stretch. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Can you maybe tell us what an Intel local RSS algebra is in the case of ZP? It's, it's the example everyone's thinking about it. Uh, sure. I mean, it's just a thing of interest in the normal five extension of the two. So you take the P, um, and then we can just add any uh, root of or any, what's it called? Uh, any root of unity for, for a prime that is not P. Or so any normal five extension. Sure. So, at the, okay, sure. So, as an example, we, we, can, we can consider ZP um, and then ZP. Uh, <coughs> um, Q. 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 I just want to demystify this uh, all these adjectives a little bit. Um, I'm sorry. I just want to demystify all these. Adjectives. Oh sure, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So I, I mean, um, these are these are very natural, especially in the context of uh, <coughs> um, number theory. Um, so you can see them a lot there. Um, well, so I, I would also like to make a remark. So ZP is complete, right? But you have, don't have completeness assumptions on your DVR. That's true. So what you could do is to take uh, an extension of the fraction field that has uh, several primes above the, the prime of your DVR. And you only want it to be unramified at, at one of them where you localize, right? So it may be ramified, but not at the prime, but because you take a local OSS algebra, right? That's true. Um, so. Should I add something here? No, or? no, I think it's recorded, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, fair enough. Um, so yes, so rather than work with, uh, with all such um, metal extensions, Uh, 
uh, local Intel OSS algebras. It suffices to show this for OSS um, strict cancelization. Pencilization of OSS. Which if you're not familiar with, it is uh, um, so it, it's an Natal extension uh, with a with a separately closed um, <coughs> residue field, and it is in some sense the smallest such uh, <coughs> Natal extension satisfying that. Yes. It's not Natal, but it's not finite. It's not in general, but it's not in general finite. Ah uh, yes, right? Yeah. So it is it's like a limited yeah. Yes. Uh, that's right. So it is the um, aside OSS for cancelization. This is equal to the direct limit. Uh, R prime R for R prime over OSS Ital local and R is an R homomorphism um, uh, K R prime the the, uh, the residue field of R prime into some fixed separable closure uh, of K. Okay. Yes. Uh, so now let's see how this relates to neuron models. I kind of already spoiled it, but that's all right. And after I say a few properties, I'll look at uh, a very explicit case. Up, um, uh, what do we call it? elliptic curves, and we'll see how um, you, know, you can be very explicit in constructing a narrow model in, in this in that particular case. <coughs> All right, so proposition: let <coughs> x over s be uh, a narrow model of its generic fibers. I'll call XK. Uh, S is once again a, a dedicated scheme. Um, unless I say otherwise, it will always be. Uh, so X is uniquely determined. By XK up to unique isomorphism. <coughs> Uh, this part just follows directly from the the, uh, the narrow mapping property, being a um, a universal property of unique canonical isomorphism. Let's not say too much. Part B is the part I promised. X satisfies the hello, uh, the extension property for tal points at all its closed points. Finally, uh, the construction of neural models commutes with um, the tau uh, um, extensions of, of S. So if we have if S prime, uh, F, S prime to S is a tau, then X phase change with S prime is a neural model for the generic fiber of, uh, of this. So it is a neural model which I'm going to abbreviate from now on to NM um, for x k prime, which is just x k phase change over k with k prime. Frank, I've got a question about the remark that you made at the end of the last blackboard. Yes. Where you say you can, instead of working with Lorton, you can use the strict emphasization. But is there any sort of good way to? Calculate that because if I look at the definition, so it feels like I still need to. Work with it. It's kind of it's like if you're working instead of saying check something for one number field, you just check something over the algebraic closure. Right. It's just a, like a one. I mean, it's a separable closure. So it's, 
but it's like, but I mean, you can't calculate that algebraic closure of Q, but it's still a useful concept to have. I think it's a very analogous thing. Well, yeah. But given that you have an algebraic closure, <coughs> you, you can describe this tensorization as a, as a subring. Once you have chosen a, a maximal ideal over the prime that you are interested in, you can say, I take all the elements that are unramified at that place, and then that's it. So if it's a P, it's just a maximal number in the station. Well, that is a bit subtle, right? Because it is only fight at the chosen place. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so uh, um, I won't prove all this. I mean, I'll just focus on part because that was the part I, I that were kind of interested in. <coughs> all right, so let S in S be a close point. Uh, so then we have a homomorphism. Uh, sorry, so let R prime be a tau local extension. Of OSS. All right. Uh, now suppose we have a morphism or a K prime rational point <coughs> up, up the generic fiber. So suppose we have a morphism from k prime to x k and should be spec k prime to x k. Uh, we want to show that that this leaves that this this comes from it, uh, an r prime rational point, but this is this is the narrow mapping property. Um, so then, by the NMP. Uh, this this limits to a morphism. Let's meet me, in fact. Spec R prime to uh, X. And that's I mean that, 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 that's just from the NMP and that, that's the definition of the uh Ictal extension property. So then that's, that's it. Oh, wait, but because no, no, no. The map from R prime to OSS is etal, but the map from OSS to S is not likely to be etal unless S is local. Because if you, like a localization, localizing is a, at a maximum ideal, it's almost never a finite type. So the composite from R spec R prime to S is not etal, because in particular it's not smooth, because it's not a finite type. So what you have to do is you have to do this thing and then you have to say, well, this thing is not a finite type, but I can spread it out to something which is a finite type. So I can, I can view R prime as the localization of something which is etal and which is etal over S. Then you apply the narrow mapping property to this new thing you built, and then you use the map from R prime to it. So there's slightly subtle thing going on. Right. Because R, R prime is not etal over S. It's not smooth over S, so you can't just apply the mapping property. Like this limiting argument is a sort of standard thing. Uh, didn't, we, didn't we choose R prime to be etal? No, but R prime is ah, over OSS, OSS, I see what you're saying. Which is not the same. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's a sort of a standard argument that you should plug in here and everything is fine, but I'll just sort of do it. Sure. Um, so this is, this is in the case of uh, S and D Sure. <laughs> 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 but yeah, thank you. All right. Uh, now, narrow models, so, so far, I mean, the definition of a narrow model it is pretty general, um, and at least in terms of like, this scheme that you have uh, x, um, or the generic fiber, we don't really have too much restrictions on it. Uh, but really, narrow models, the most, the most natural way to study them is, is in the case where we're working with um, abelian varieties. Uh, all right, so um, I, mean, I think we'll, we'll have a talk later on about uh, some basic facts on, on abelian varieties and, and group schemes. Um, but just to give a, a very quick uh, um, definition, just so that, we, that we have that. Uh, so a group scheme x over s, it is a representable functor. Uh, X from schemes <coughs> over S to groups. 
So in particular, given any, any scheme uh, um, S prime over, over S, now that we have that uh, X S prime, I mean, th th this, is, this is naturally viewed as, as the S prime points of the scheme X, uh, it is also a group. Uh, so that, that's very nice. Uh, we also have identities and whatnot. And then, uh, but there are more X is an abelian scheme over S. Uh, if it is proper and, and smooth, it is uh, a proper smooth group scheme. with connected fibers. All right, and this is all that, 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 that we need uh, for, for this talk, at least, on, on these. Um, now, why is this important? Well, it turns out that, it, so if, if we start with, uh, with xk over, over s uh, in a Boolean variety, but it turns out that, that the existence of neuron models in this case uh, is, is very nice. So, so abelian varieties or abelian schemes in general um, are, are very natural for studying uh, um, neuron models. Uh, all right, so, so we, have, we have a, a proposition. Given that you stated the definition, maybe we should say also look at canonical examples and look at curve or approach to the curve. I don't know, just if people have never seen it before. Um, just of an abelian scheme, I'm not trying to do anything. Oh, of an abelian scheme. Uh, sure, okay. I mean, I'm not saying you should write anything, just... Yeah, so, so if, if we have an elliptic curve, and, and if we fix um, some, some base point, then we have the, the, uh, the Abel Jacobi map into a Jacobian. Um, so from this, we get, we get a, a nice group structure on, um, on the No, You might be very upset about this. No, it's all good. Isn't it? Okay. Uh, I mean, there's also the kind of geometric way where you, you draw lines and, and get a group structure uh, in that way. Um, I think that's a bit, lines are kind of hard. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so let, let me move to this example. All right, uh, so we'll let S be a dedicated scheme as before. And I'll let X over S uh, be an abelian scheme all right then then x is is automatically the, the narrow model of its generic fiber and this is certainly not true if, if x is, is is not an abelian scheme uh, of its generic fiber. Um, let me skip showing this. I mean, it's not 